Namaste. Well, several of the viewers have asked how to apply Bhasma, Tripundra. And so I thought I would do a short video just to show the practice, which is really very simple. Here I've got some Bhasma, all mixed up. It's kind of a thick mud. And it's been sitting since yesterday, so I need to add a little water. Just a little. Not too much. There. And mix it up until it's a nice smooth consistency. About like, well, like mud. <laughs> or jello or something like that. It's neither solid nor liquid. Somewhere in between. So, all right. Actually, this could be a little thinner. A little water goes a long way. You'd be surprised. With Bosma. So this is holy ash. It's made from heating uh, cow dung in a sealed container, no oxygen, up to red hot, and keeping it for some time at that temperature. And then it turns white. So these white ashes are very valuable for spiritual life. I'm just going to do the simplest possible procedure and chant Om Namah Shivaya. Now the way I do it, you know there are like ten different methods in different scriptures of how to apply Basma, and different traditions have their own ways of doing it, so I don't think there's any real right or wrong. I just take the ash and I go one way and then I go the other way, like this. And then later on if I need to make lines Spaces between the lines, I do it. And Om Namah Shivaya. So that's on the forehead. Then on the head, Om Namah Shivaya. Then I put it on my two hands, put it on my ears, Om Namah Shivaya. A little on my eyes, nostrils, and mouth. And this is great for absorbing excess oils from the skin. Then on the shoulders, Aung Namah Shivaya. Upper arms, forearms, Aung Namah Shivaya. And again, on the other side, Aung Namah Shivaya. Aung Namah Shivaya. Aung Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. On the chest, on the neck, Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Belly, Om Namah Shivaya. I usually hook my thread on my ear like this, keep it out of the way. On the two sides, Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. And on the lower belly. I always put some in the navel. Because the navel can get really nasty if it's not kept clean and pure. A little more water. Now the lower part of the body. Thighs. Aung Namah Shivaya. Aung Namah Shivaya. Knees. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Calves. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Ankles. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. And feet. Aung Namah Shivaya. Aung Namah Shivaya. And let's not forget back of the neck. Aung Namah Shivaya. 
and lower back. Om Namah Shivaya. Now you notice, I'm not too particular about getting the lines perfect. And I tell you what, anybody who does, I don't know, I, I, I think they're, maybe they think they're in a Bollywood film or something. <laughs> this ash is wonderful stuff. You can spread it all over the body in its dry form or in its wet form. You can put it, especially anywhere you're having a skin problem like a, a sore or a bite or even a cut because it's sanctifying, it's sterilizing, it's purifying and it's highly astringent. So it will pull out any poisons from the skin and neutralize them. Uh, it's also highly basic in chemical, in its chemical nature. So I just rub it everywhere. <laughs> And the stuff is just wonderful. So that's all there is to it. You know, it dries in a few minutes, especially out here in the sun. Uh, and in the meantime, it's removing all impurities from the body and the subtle body, more importantly. And that's why we chant Aum Namah Shivaya with every application of Basma. Aum Tat Sat. Aung Shakti Aung Aung Nam Shivaya. <laughs>